welcome back guys so today we would be starting with the problems regarding the concepts which we learned in the last class so let us see the example the first example is the density function of the for time to failure in years of gizmos manufactured by a certain company is given by ft that is this is the density function 200 divided by t plus 100 square uh, given t is greater than or equal to zero so first question is derive the reliability function so reliability function what is the reliability function just see reliability function is nothing but see what is reliability function rt is a t to infinity f of that is intensity function uh, integration of density function from t to infinity so when we put uh, in the formula that is when we find r of t so what we will do is uh, it is from t to infinity okay and what is the function 200 divided by t plus 10 so 200 divided by t plus 10 cool so this we have to integrate dt okay so the integration part you can do so uh, when you integrate this uh, we'll get the reliability function and uh, that would come as when you integrate this you will get the answer as 100 plus t plus 10 whole square okay this is the rt you will get after integration so now the second part is determine the reliability for the first year of operation so uh, first year of operation means t is equals to 1 okay so when you find uh, put t is equals to 1 you will get the reliability for the first year of operation what would that be that would be 100 by 11 that would be the answer okay so this is how you'll get it and uh, this is the first question done so the second question is compute mttf moment generating function so moment generating function is given by mttf is equals to zero to infinity rt dt so uh, so this is the formula of moment generating function so when we put uh, the rt that is the reliability function which we got from here uh, then integrate zero to infinity will get 10 years as the uh, answer this is the simple thing so you are uh, noticing that everything is just based on the formula you just you just need to be clear with the formulas the third question is what is the design life of a reliability 0.95 so here you just need to uh, put 0 0.95 0 0.95 and then you need to solve for t see so r is equals to 0 0.95 so we have the reliability function as r is equals to what is r r is equals to 100 by t d plus 10 we got this from the first one right and what is r r is nothing but 0 0.95 it is given okay so r is 0 0.95 is equals to this so now when you uh, cross multiply you'll uh, see that t is equals to 0 0.2598 years so this is the answer now the last one is what will one year burn in period improve the reliability in part one it is so if so what is the new reliability so burn in period is nothing but r t by 1 because it is given in one year so it was r by t naught right so t naught is given as 1 so r by t naught so what is the formula r t plus 1 uh, uh, divided by r of 1 so it would be 100 by t plus 11 square this is the r t plus 1 and when you uh, how did we get t plus 1 just put uh, t plus 1 in place of t for rt which we got then you get this and put 1 in place of t in place of t put 1 and you will get this 100 by 11 square so this is the answer you'll get so now 
R T by one uh, is greater than R T. One twenty one divided by T plus eleven square is greater than hundred by T plus ten square. So we see that T when we uh, cross multiply and evaluate, then T plus ten uh, by T plus eleven is greater than ten by eleven. That is eleven T greater than ten T, which is true as T greater than zero. So we need not uh, think much; just cross multiply. Now one year burn-in period will be uh, will improve the reliability. So we will just put uh, one in place of T, and we'll get this answer. Hope you got this. Everything is about formula, so you just need to be clear with the formulas, and you're good to go. Now the second example is the time to failure in operating hours of a critical solid state power unit has the hazard rate function lambda t is equals to zero point zero zero three t divided by five hundred to the power zero point five where t is greater than equal to zero. What is the reliability if the power unit must operate continuously for fifty hours? So reliability is given by e to the power minus 0 to t lambda t that is hazard function dt so just put the hazard function in in, in place of lambda t and uh, after integrating this you will get 0.9689 after uh, this is the integration part so now uh, this is uh, what is the reliability for 50 so t is equals to 50 we have put t is equals to 50 So wherever it is t, just put fifty. That's it. Limit should be zero to fifty, and uh, then you need to integrate for uh, because it is given continuously for fifty hours. So zero to t uh, will replace by zero to t to zero to fifty, and that is the only change. And you'll get this answer. Now determine the design life if a, a reliability of zero point nine is designed. Okay. So R T D is equals to zero point nine zero. It is given. Okay. So we we know this formula. So just replace R T with zero point nine zero. So this is the formula. We'll just replace. Uh, this is the formula. We'll just replace by zero point nine zero, and then uh, solve uh, both the sides, and then we'll get a T D that is design life as one 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 point five four hours. This is the design life. Now the third part is compare the MTTF moment generating function. So moment generating function is given by zero to infinity R T. Then R T we have calculated in the first question. We'll put that. Then we'll solve this. Then we'll get five fifty or four fifty one point six five hours. This is the answer. This is the integration part. This you are well uh, like acquainted with. So this I need not to explain each step. So I as I told this. whole module is just based on the formula so it's very easy given that the unit has operated for 50 hours what is the probability that will survive a second 50 hours of operation so this is the burn out thing so we need to uh, find the probability probability of t greater than 100 given that t greater than equal to 50 so that would be uh, given by p t greater than 100 And p uh, t greater than equal to fifty. So we'll uh, replace r of t. Uh, so we'll put r of t is equals to hundred here, and r of t is equals to fifty here. So uh, after integration, we'll get e to the power minus fifty to hundred from fifty to hundred, and this is the uh, hazard function. So we'll put the hazard function here, and then integrate, and we'll get this answer. So this is it for. Uh, the question solving as uh, question solving for uh, whatever concepts we have learned earlier so from the next class uh, i would be dealing with another topic that is system reliability and uh, that is series or non redundant con configuration and then parallel so till then take care bye bye